Folk tradition links the origin of the Jews in Yemen to the period of the first temple's destruction. Ancient Jewish customs, which had nearly vanished, have been passed on due to the Yemenites who preserved them with utmost accuracy. Yemenites were always known for their precision. The rhythm begins with the Hebrew language. They are precise in their pronunciation of Hebrew, singing it in measured rhythm and always together. Hebrew is a rhythmic language. Every syllable must be emphasized. The Yemenites preserve the original Hebrew pronunciation. The reading of the Torah, the five books of Moses, is the foundation of it all. Most Jewish communities have only one qualified Torah reader. In Yemenite synagogues, each person called to the Torah reads for himself. As in Talmudic times, the reader is assisted by hand signals indicating the cantillation. During the Second Temple, the Jews in Israel did not understand Hebrew and an Aramaic translation was necessary. A child reads the Aramaic translation of each verse. This is an ancient custom derived from the Mishnah, twice in the Bible and once in translation. Every syllable is a musical unit. The Yemenite chants date back even earlier than the cantillations developed in Tiberias in the 6th century. Children are familiarized with the traditions of their forefathers starting at a young age. 
The Mishnah states that Bible study begins at age three. Even today, Yemenite Jews, including those who are not particularly observant, send their children for religious studies after school. Rudiments of Torah reading and Yemenite tradition are taught by the Mori, the most significant educational figure. The melodies are fixed and designed to serve the text. The main purpose is to review the weekly Torah portion. For generations, the Yemenites have educated their children in this manner. This tradition continues unchanged. כל מי שעלה לתורה קרא את הפרשה בעצמו. נער היה עומד ליד הבימה ומקריא בניגון מדוקדק את תרגום אונקלוס לכל פסוק היוצא מפי הקורא. כשהיה אדם מסיים תפילת שחרית היה משתהה ולומד פרק במקרא פרק במשנה ופרק בספרות המוסר.